tuned because this is about to get hot. Okay, so you guys seen by the title what I'm getting ready to do right here. Uh, let me say this. This song right here is by... Uh, what is it? Red? Uh, Y'all know I might have massacred this because I know I might have done it the last time. But this is a uh, Red Sovine or Red Savine, and it's a uh, oops, and it's a uh, Teddy Bear Last Ride. Now, this is what I said I find really interesting about these reaction videos, is that some people get upset if I don't react to the song according to how they reacted to it or what they expect I should react to it. We are all individuals, and we all have our different reasons how on why we react to certain things. I said this before on my channel, if you haven't been with me long enough, I doubt you're going to be able to play something on here that's going to make me like tear up. I tell people all the time, I say, there's things that I've been through in life that um, there's no more tears. You know what I mean? Yeah, music moves me in certain ways that it may not move you. So, for instance, when I did this last one of his, um, Teddy Bear, I said it, more, it did more of less, it motivated me in a way because the story that he was telling motivated me and encouraged me to show me what I'm not going to do, if y'all get what I'm saying. Some people are like, uh, dude, I'm totally, like, lost on what you're talking about. In other words, like, when I hear music sometimes and I see what someone has done for somebody, it lets me know that I'm not going to be the person to not do it. And what I mean by that is, uh, what these truckers did in here, I'm the type of person that wants to do things like that. So, if anything, like, for instance, if somebody made a song about, uh, people doing sports, if they sing about, if you sit there and sing about what a sports icon did for a disabled kid, it doesn't tug at my heartstrings to make me get like, oh man, it makes me motivated to want to do the same thing. And I say that's what kind of what the song did for me. So uh, I'm just pre warning y'all because you guys are like, well, get get out the tissues because you're definitely going to cry on this one. Like y'all said about the last one, I didn't cry. You're not going to get. I'm just telling y'all it's not going to happen. I'm just not being cocky or anything like that. It's just the truth. If it moves you to tears and all that and causes you to go get your Kleenex box, more power to you. But if it doesn't do it to me, don't be like, well, you know, some people are like, you don't understand because you don't have kids. I'm like, uh, actually, I do have kids. So, anywho, guys, ratting on about that, this is Red Savine, Red Savine, Teddy Bear Last Ride. So, here you go. I was there that day and I saw her cry after Mama Teddy Bear said 10-4 goodbye. She turned off the old CB and just looked at me and her heart overflowed and her tears ran free. And the gratitude shone in her face like the sun for all the things those big tough truckers had done. A handful of change and a few dollar bills, but most of all, a little crippled boy's dream fulfilled. I guess I was Mama Teddy Bear's best friend. I lived next door to her and little Teddy Bear since I don't know when. And that's why now, before my memory grows old, the rest of this story just has to be told. I'd come over and sit with Teddy Bear while his mama was away play little games to help him pass the day. In the afternoons he'd wheel that chair over by the radio and he'd go on the air. And one by one he'd break them all. I never knew a trucker not to answer his call. He'd just grin and ask me not to tell his mum. But I was pretty sure she knew what was going on. But time has a way of taken its toll, and much too fast, Mama Teddy Bear was grown old. I watched as the silver touched her hair, and her one aim in life was Teddy Bear. And then I saw another change take place, little Teddy Bear was slowly losing the race. I knew it, and his mama knew it too nothing in this whole world either one of us could do. He talked less often on the old CB. There were times when he'd hardly talk with me. He took to sitting in the window and watching the road and the big 18-wheelers rolling by with their load. 
finally he was too weak to get out of bed and one day he looked at me and said would you turn on the radio and go on the air and tell all my trucker friends what's happened to teddy bear well the hardest thing i've done in my time was to pick up that mic and say break one nine this is for all you truckers who care I'm calling for your little friend, Teddy Bear. He says to tell you he misses you all and he's awful sorry he can't answer your calls. They all came back and joked with me and said they'd catch him later on the old CB. They never did catch Teddy Bear again, because late one night the angel came. And the last thing he said before he died was... Tell all my trucker friends how I enjoyed the rides. Mama Teddy Bear couldn't tell them and neither could I. Cause each time we'd look at that radio we'd both start to cry. The funeral was pitched at the chapel and little Teddy Bear started on his last ride. As the procession rounded the little city square, the sounds of a hundred engines filled the air. Truckers had dropped their trailers back somewhere behind, and one by one, they fell in line. They all tried to comfort Mama Teddy Bear, and it seemed like the warmth of God just filled the air. Slowly they formed a circle around the little grave, and a lot of big men cried. That day as they paid their last respects on Teddy Bear's last drive. Not to take away from this, but this definitely don't sound like the guy that did it first. This sound like, ah, I can say it now because I learned a new phrase, yeah. This sound like an Aussie. This sounded like somebody straight from Australia, man. I mean, this don't sound like that guy that did it on the first one I did. Uh, so that kind of distracted me a little bit. Uh, not distracting me away from the song or anything that happened, but just kind of threw me off. I'm like, why is he talking different, whatever. So anyhow... Uh, this is the follow up from I guess the first one I did which was um, Teddy Bear so apparently the kid must have had I mean it's apparent that he had like a disability or something like that and ended up uh, taking his life but see what I'm saying something like this I look at this as being something that's pretty cool pretty sweet you know with the fact that this little kid caused these people to be moved like that I mean like I said it's a true story it caused them to be moved like that to where they had this huge event that touched the lives of people all across America this was before we even had any type of social media or anything like that so just think this kid was able to get his personality and all that out there over a walkie talkie breaker whatever they call it and it's just really neat that they actually pay respects to the little kid like that when he passed away so I'm pretty sure his mom was forever touched by that what that kid did probably not just affected strangers, but just think what it did for his family. In the short time that he had on this earth, he was able to have, have such an impact and influence on a lot of different people just from a simple act of doing something that we kind of do here, which is communicate, intermingle, what I call socializing for real. Not just leaving a little comments, whatever like that, and talking to some words on the other side of the, uh, you know, other side of your computer screen. You actually are seeing a real person. Because it's getting to a time where folks, man, I mean, I know folks that got robots. They talk with their robots. They talk with Alexa or whatever like that. Alexa will be there for you, but not like a human being can. So anyway, it's always like what I say. We're so social, but we're so antisocial. We're more connected, but we're more disconnected. Right? Anywho, that was a nice little follow-up from the first song that he did. Like I said, I think it's amazing what they did for the kid. It affected his his mom's life. I'm pretty sure his father's life. Anybody lies that this little kid was around was affected by what this little boy did. It was really, really cool. So, anywho, glad I was able to do this. Everyone, um, let me know. I'm I don't even have, I don't even gotta tell y'all what to do because from the first one I did on this teddy bear, y'all left the comments below what this song did for y'all, how it made you feel, who it made you think of, all that good stuff. So just do it again since this is part two of it. I am Ty Smith, modern Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you guys have food, shelter, clothing, and I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus.